Ready? Here he is guys, the Kuma is here. For the people that have been asking, I figured I'd give you an update at the start of this video really quick. I know a lot of you guys are like avid viewers of the channel and I'm not sure if you guys have seen like my Instagram posts and stuff, but Kuma, the homie over here, my Shiba Inu, uh, he just recently had surgery on his tail, which hopefully you guys can see this right here. Look at his little tail, kind of matches my shorts though. But yeah, he had to get surgery on his tail. So uh, I know a lot of you guys were asking if how he's doing and stuff and he's doing okay. I mean, you guys can tell he's being his typical Kuma self, not looking at the camera, but <laughs> he's chilling. And thank you guys so much for like the prayers and stuff and just keeping the positive energy and stuff going because it definitely is hard as like a dog dad, I guess, to kind of like deal with like surgeries and stuff. So. Yeah, it's been stressful. Me and Mario have been dealing with it a lot, but thankfully he's okay for now. And we just gotta wait for the lab testing to make sure like there was nothing serious with the surgery that they were doing. So yeah, he's doing good. So you wanna say anything, Kuma? Say hi. Okay, so yeah, he's probably sleepy from the medication, so we'll put him down for now. Anyway guys, today's episode should be good. We have an unboxing for you guys today, and I also picked up another sneaker locally, so not unboxing it, but I'll show you guys what I got. It's actually a really dope shoe and a grail for some people, not necessarily for me, but it is a very, very expensive shoe and a pretty unique piece at least. So we'll take a look at that real quick, but before we get into that, I do want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's episode, Rose Gold and Black. Rose Gold and Black is the premier minimalistic jewelry company that has been sponsoring the Untied Hawaii channel for the better part of a couple years now man they're very very on top of it and the reason why I love rose gold and black so much is because they understand that the people watching these videos and stuff are all trying to save money and we still want to be stylish at the same time and that's why rose gold and black is sick because they have really dope jewelry for very very good prices like extremely good prices but not only do they have necklaces they have bracelets they have rings watches they got a whole range of different items guys so I highly recommend you guys check it out and because you guys are avid viewers of this channel you guys get 20% off your order when you use the link in the description below and an additional 10% when you guys use the code UNTIED, U-N-T-I-E-D. So don't forget to do that, man. Anyway, guys, I think it's about time we get into the unboxing. So let me show you guys what we actually picked up over here. This is a shoe that we got from Godap, I believe. And it's a shoe you guys probably recognize, man. This is a size 11. And again, it's probably one you guys have seen before because this right here is a pair of the most recently released Jordan 1s, the Jordan 1 Court Purple 2.0, man. And I actually unboxed this a couple episodes ago, but the reason why I have a second pair is because I told you guys in that episode that this shoe is one that I think will blow up and resale over time. Not only did I want to double up on a pair for myself or personal, but also I wanted a pair to hold on ice because I think that these will end up touching $400 very, very soon. I think right now in the resale market, they're going for about mid to low 200s, which is a very good price. And I think a lot of people should be buying these up when they're cheap, because if you guys can hold these for at least a couple months, they will explode in value. That's my huge tip to you guys. I know a lot of people are struggling like with money and stuff because of quarantine, people aren't working. But if you guys are able to invest in something, I would invest in Core Purple 1.0s because the price is cheap and these will be worth a lot down the road, guys. And my biggest tip for you guys is try not to use sneaker apps when you guys are trying to buy like to invest, right? So if you guys are trying to get a lot of these on ice, I would check your like local sneaker deals and stuff first. So if you guys have like Facebook groups and stuff, like how Hawaii has Hawaii sneakerheads, try to buy like locally. So that way you guys can pick a pair without paying tax and you guys don't need to pay for shipping it gets a lot cheaper and that way you guys are able to maximize your profits on these because if you guys do buy from like StockX or goat you guys know that you're gonna have to pay a lot of fees and a lot of shipping and that definitely cuts into your cost so yeah, try to pick up locally. Make sure you guys wear your mask when you guys are out of the house and stay safe out there. And so that was just my quick tip to you guys. Definitely something you guys should pick up if you guys can and you guys can afford it. However, the shoe that I'm most excited to show you guys is one that I picked up locally through my Facebook group. And it's a banger, guys. Because the shoe that I actually have right over here is a fire sneaker man i'm not sure if you guys have seen this swiss cheese box before they got a whole bunch of holes in this jordan 5 box but this one is a size 10 and a half my size and i'm guessing you guys know what it is this right here though is a pair of the off-white jordan 5s guys and this thing is wild it's definitely a more unique sneaker and i'm not sure how i feel about it just yet i want to get it on feet so i can see how it looks like with like denim and stuff but for the most part, it's unique, just kind of a little bit strange. And we'll take a look at it up close so you guys know exactly what I'm saying. Just like the box, it has like these holes running throughout the shoe. And this is a translucent material over here. So you're gonna actually see like what kind of socks and stuff the person's wearing when you have the shoe on. So that's a little unique thing right there. Also, it does have the off-white branding on the inside over here. And overall, it's just a very unique kind of vibe. What my biggest comparison was for this was it has like a comic book kind of look. I'm not sure if you guys have watched like Into the Spider-Verse, but that kind of like art style where it's kind of like popping off the page, that's what this reminded me of and I think that's kind of cool. It still has that effect and I just want to get it on feet really fast so I can see how it looks like in full effect. But 
for the most part, I think this is a really dope shoe, guys, and a lot of people are considering this already a grail. I'm not sure if I agree with that, but definitely a nice shoe. Also, this is another one that I believe will be blowing up in resale like in the near future, guys. Once people start getting back to work and stuff, these prices will explode to over $1,000 easily. So again, if you guys can pick them up, try to pick them up now because they will definitely go up. So yeah, quick unboxing today. I just basically wanted to check in with you guys, give you guys an update about Kuma and show you a couple of the newest pickups that I just recently got. Man, I really just can't wait until this quarantine stuff is over so I can start getting like all of the stuff that we've been picking up on feet, man. Really want to start like matching it up with outfits and stuff and just kind of seeing how everything looks definitely a weird thing when you're unboxing shoes knowing you can't really wear it because there's no place to go to but yeah i have a lot of these on ice so you guys will be seeing them on instagram and stuff very very soon but that is it for the video guys thank you guys so much for watching if you guys did enjoy this video don't forget to hit that like button guys it goes a long way in supporting the channel and also if you guys are new here and you guys enjoy this content don't forget to subscribe down below thank you again for everybody that's been checking in on kuma i really really appreciate it man i just can't believe like the love that we're getting for like his tail and stuff and he's definitely been a sad good boy so yeah it's been tough but I think he's healing and he's getting less sore so thank you again continue for the prayers and stuff man I know he's just like a dog for some people but for me that's like my son so definitely somebody that I really love and I'm just very grateful that you guys are showing like so much love back to him like it really truly means a lot to me so thank you guys for that love but anyway guys until next time stay humble stay blessed take care and I will see you on the next episode Aloha shoot